Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. And I can't choose one. We're oh, back. Sorry, Sam. Welcome, folks. <gasps> Fucking Sam. Uh, bleep, Sam. Blue, brutal. Bleep, right. bleep, blop, bloop. We're back. He's hey, got hey. some problems. We're doing it. Sorry, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of cookies, a lot of baked goods. Uh... <laughs> Chuck's fucking. Who is um, this person? You just you say a name. I don't even know. Is it your sister, your aunt, your wife? I have Jen, no idea who Jen, this person is. Jen. Who's Jen? Don't say her name. We don't want her to get a know, get into the pot. We might have to give her a royalty or something. <laughs> He's fucking uh, Betty Crocker. How about that? <laughs> there you go. It's, it's nothing but. It's, you're banging little Debbie over here. It's nothing but baked goods and. I feel like you're going to save the Girl Scouts with this shit. You're one of these guys that just throws names out. Oh, Susan's coming. Who the fuck's Susan? I don't know, Sue. I don't like Sue. We've talked about Jen. I know, but you never explained. You, who's Jen? I don't want to know their names. I like to look at them like objects. You, this, you're, they're a bunch of holes you're remember. fucking. She's in Philadelphia. It's oh. Jen. She's, he remembers that. He, you'll remember the states better than the names. Yes, yes. that's a city. That's a city. But ah, I'll take it. Ah, shit. Uh, well, anyways, she bashed up some cookies here. They're very good, but they're full of nuts. <laughs> I went to bite into it. <laughs> Big nut. And I think the folks you didn't were bite into it, did I you? I went to. Oh, you went, went to, to bite. bite. You went to bite. And thank God. <laughs> Back and to the left. Thank God I peeked <laughs> right before the bite. It was like a slow-mo. I peek and I go, what the hell is this? <laughs> and there's some nuts in here. And you can't call a, a chocolate chip cookie with nuts a chocolate chip cookie. It yeah, ceases to be a chocolate right. chip cookie. I'm with you on that one. Is I'm with this, you on that this one. This does not show much appreciation. <laughs> chocolate <laughs> chip and nut cookie. And it's 2027. I might have a fucking nut allergy. Who knows? That's true. He could die. Maybe this is your plan. You're slowly trying to kill the lanky queen. <laughs> he queef. wants the seat. He wants uh, the chair. Mark you, and Chuck, every week America. we're going to make you something with a new allergen in it. Just uh -huh. to see what takes you out. But uh, you you see my point. I see the point. It's a good point. point. He could have died. He's he's a bit of a queef. You never know. A nut could take him down. It's, uh, it's, you should uh, see his back. I mean, I don't have a nut allergy. I drink cum every morning for breakfast, but... <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like a saying, I made you peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and then there's semen in it. Yeah, You gotta say peanut butter, jelly, and semen. Yes. Yeah. It's the same. That does not sell well. Yeah. <laughs> I tried that at a bake sale. It also looks drier than my mother's twat on New Year's <laughs> Eve, 86. Yeah. I can vouch. <laughs> That's a sandstorm down there. But, uh... They're pretty good. You dip in the coffee. Jen, great job from Philly. Yeah. Appreciate it. Apparently, you're more than just uh, an anal. Yeah. Oh, Blow me, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. I appreciate it. It's very sweet. And Jen. I did show I, I, this is. I think this is a little gangsta. Is that right? Is that, am I using that right? Yeah. Well, this is obviously gangsta. This is very 90s with the, the spandex underneath yeah. the shots. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, but I showed up my own chocolate chip. Chuck's like, we got chocolate chip cookies from Jen. And I showed up with a nice Starbucks. Sands nuts. Delicious. Look at this. It's like a pile of rocks. Oh. Oh, Jen's slitting her wrist somewhere in Staten Island right now. <laughs> I'm Holy only kidding. Hell. Jen, these are great. And I did have one. It was very, very good. And I appreciate it. And uh, I don't have a nut allergy because I'm not a fucking queer. Oh, boy. Yep, yep, yep. Well, <laughs> don't get me started on gluten, you queefs. All right. What the hell is gluten? I, I, I worked know. out my glutens by doing some squats. Hi, folks. Hey. We're really on today. Hey, gluten free. By the way, I had a uh, Steve Glutenberg. I uh, went to Equinox. I was the only one down there. I love this Equinox. You should yeah. get it on Equinox. It's very I fun. Should. It's four hundred dollars a year. No, it's three hundred bucks a month. Oh, it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I know. The steam is is nice, and it's very comforting in there. You walk in, it's full zen. Ha! Ah, there's steam everywhere. There's hot women. There's gays. It's great. Yeah, and then they have little all over the place little refrigerators. With uh, rounded, rolled up towels Ooh. filled with uh, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, yes. And you take one, and I, I just huff it like a fucking, like a meth addict. Like a paper bag. I just, 
And I huff it, and you can feel it in your eyeballs and your asshole, and it really changes the molecules of your soul. That eucalypt is underrated. I, I used to go to this uh, Armenian barber, and, I mean, the guy was a little rough with me. He'd slap you around. He'd hit you with that towel. You know when they go too hard on the towel at the end? Yeah. It's like, weird. what are you doing there, Chachi? But he would hit you with a eucalyptus, and he would have a straw, and the towel was like, it would you would transform. You'd go somewhere else. You'd come out, you know, Elliot Page. <laughs> It was great. Something about the you're in the dark with the towel on. It was like waterboarding, and then ah, you wake up. Yeah, it's nice. Those uh, Armenians, they really know how to do. Th- they don't know how to drive, but other than mm. that, they really. I don't really know that much about Armenia. Well, Kardashians are Armenians. No kidding. That's a fun fact. Yeah, I know Glendale, California. Yes. That's like the Armenian capital. My friend Chris Walsh lives there. Speaking of huffing, I feel like. In our day, back when we were banging, you'd see a lot of guys hitting the paper bag. Remember that? The hyperventilating yeah. guy? What were they doing? There's no paper bag guy anymore. I think they figured out that that's no good. I think you're right. Because that was supposed to be helpful. It was all mental, I think. I remember driving with Paul Nardizzi one time, and this was my panic attack period. Funny it was guy. really bad. One of the funniest ever. And... Uh, we, I was having like a panic attack, and he was like, I think breathe out of a paper bag. Yeah. I was like, all right. But it kind of helped because it felt like he was concerned, and then you do start deeper breathing. But then I think you're just breathing recycled air. Right. Whatever that right. means. Yeah, I don't recycle. <laughs> but <laughs> the paper bag was big. You know what else was big? I lost the contact. Oh, You right. never see that anymore. Right. Did What's they going get, on there? Maybe think, they got better. I think, I they think got better. laser eye. Oh, uh, LASIK. Laser eye happens, and... Uh, I Occasionally, but I remember Ski Patrol. Remember that movie? Oh, with Galifianak. Uh, no, I'm talking from the 80s. I'm thinking Out Cold. Oh, right. Similar genre. <laughs> Ski Patrol. <laughs> I think Michael Winslow was in it, or a ah. guy similar. I might be racist for saying that. Well, uh, how many blacks with sound effects are there? <laughs> I don't know that he did sound effects, but I saw it when I was seven, so don't shoot me. But <laughs> Just shoot me. But that was a whole different uh, show. George Siegel. Uh-huh. Fantastic. Flock of Siegels. But, um... He had, there was a scene where he was really sleepy, the, the black comedic actor, maybe not Winslow, might have been Omar Epps or something, uh, Wesley was, Snipes. Yeah. Somebody. Black guy skiing? Michael I Che, I don't know who it was. But <laughs> I don't trust this plot. <laughs> he painted eyes on his eyelids, and it was a gag. That, do you remember, Chuck? You, I remember about like, it a lot. dying laughing. Maybe I've already <laughs> talked about it. I bring it up every couple days. Isn't that funny how that, that hit you so hard? You, it hit You me. bring it up every... You, it was in your wedding vows you but, brought this thing up. Because he's sitting there like this, and he's got these big bright eyes painted on him, and it looks so... You gotta, look pull it up. That, you gotta pull that up. Look up Ski I gotta Patrol see it. eyes. I gotta see gold. this. Gold. Gold. Ah. What a funny bit. And the, for some reason, this is gonna sound horrific, but the fact that he's black is funnier. Well, it makes it pop. It makes it pop. The <laughs> eyes. The white. To the eye. The white pop. <laughs> you know, we have those through evolution, so people know where you're looking. That's, that's like right. a that's like a survival. Well, what do they say? I think that was Washington or whatever. They said, don't shoot till you see the whites of their assholes or I whatever it was. I think it was John Paul Jones or Jimmy Page, one of the Led Zeppelin guys. <laughs> I think. Robert Plant. It might have been Plant, Big Bulge. All but right. there was that one, but they also had in Ski Patrol a contact gag. Where like the hot chick loses her contact, ah. and the whole mountain's looking for it because they think they're gonna get laid, and then like some nerds like, did somebody lose a contact? And they all go, ah, and they oh, run after them. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it was a fun bit. Ski Patrol. Look, give me, give me a year on that. A Rotten Tomatoes and a and, a, and an African American star, if you don't yes. mind. Yes, I want to see these googly eyes. Ski Patrol is nineteen ninety. Okay, ninety. Okay, so I'm right for the scene. I'm trying to find the scene. I'm you not got a YouTube it. googly eye Negro <laughs> Ski Patrol nineteen ninety <laughs> painted eyes. <laughs> Yeah, something. <laughs> that's so. That's so funny because uh, when I was banging back when I was a kid in the eighties, remember MacGyver? Do I remember MacGyver? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Bum, bum, bum. And he slides under the door. I was yes. obsessed with MacGyver. I love MacGyver because they had to come up with it was basically life hacks, mm. but you know, and they they'd save your life. It wasn't just like, hey, get a light bulb socket out of the cucumber or whatever. <laughs> it was like it was a real hack. And me too. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag. And uh, so. This kid, they were on a bus, and the bus flipped over a ravine, and it flipped 13 times, and these Cub Scouts are, you know, they need sandwiches and peanut butters with 
with bananas and semen <laughs> and nuts and nuts. And uh, one of the kids has asthma, mm. and so he's this, the fat kids in the back, like <gasps> you know, and they're all freaking out. And they go, "What do we do?" And they go, "He his inhaler must have fallen out the window in the crash." Oh, and they right. go, "Oh my god!" So MacGyver slides in, and he's got perfect hair. He takes out a washcloth. There's some kind of rag. He pours water on it from a water bottle. Takes a little mini fan, you know those fans that gays use to cool themselves sure. at the parade. And he, he put the washcloth in front of the kid's face and put the fan behind it, and it breathed moist air into his mm. face. And that's basically what an inhaler is. Uh-huh. And I never forgot it. Wow. And now right. I'm going around waiting for this fat kid with asthma to pop up, but I'm like, I got it. I'm going to wow. tackle him and you know spit in his mouth. I don't know what Chuck's, Chuck's up to <laughs> later, but... Um... <laughs> not fat. Chuck's not fat. They I feel great. bad. We had a heart to heart. I mean, uh, tell that very to, sweet. to Jen. She's gonna give yeah. you. A, you're gonna lose a toe in a year. Well, she knows. She knows that you're on the out. You're gonna skip town. You're looking thin. You got your uh-huh. cool shirt. You have a good them. gig. The hair's looking nice. So yeah. she's trying to chub you up or yeah. kill you with this nut allergy. Mm-hmm. But yeah, MacGyver ruled. Henry Winkler. I loved Murdoch when it was a. You uh, wanted a Murdoch episode. Murdoch. Who's the guy? I don't have time to smell cause. Same actor. That's him. That's that's him. That's Murdoch. Never knew. Fun guy. Wow. Love the Murdochs. Did you find it? I can't find the scene. I can't. Damn there's it. a you, bunch you, of scenes from it, but it's like skiing contests, right? Mm, right. This would probably be in the lodge. Maybe image. I, I don't. What's the actor's name? Maybe find the actor. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, right. Now you got some homework. <laughs> Chuck's so bummed. He just wants to hang and listen, and he's. We got him working over there. Yeah, come on, Jamie, pull it up. <laughs> You missed a good Chuck hang yesterday in the park. Oh, how was the park hang? It was okay. It was small. Oh, well, it was great, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Give it me was, some names. It was good. We had Jason Canner. We had Steve. Uh, Big Dick. Uh, Big Dick Rogers. We had Siobhan. Siobhan's dame. Sarah. Oh, he's got a new dame. Chuck and uh, Larry. Uh, Stephen Griss. This is a real Steve. who's who of who are these? Yeah, people. it was. Yikes. It wasn't, the Real credits were a little light on the hang. Yeah, bottom of the barrel here, eh? <laughs> Needed Jen to show up with her fucking cookies. But it was nice. It was not, But you know what we realized? We've, we're, we've aged out of sitting on the ground. Ah, uh, yes. We all hit 40 or whatever. I, the whole time, we're all going, oh, God, oh, my back. Because there's acorns, and you're sitting on your ankle. So uh, Cantor and I threw the ball around for a while, but these guys don't know how to throw a ball, so... <laughs> Um, All right, but it was decent, decent hang. It was very steamy. Yeah, a little warm. Did the, did the beer guy come by? Beer guy, and then I, I did my classic, classic listy where I fucked everybody. He's like, I got cocktails, White Claw, <laughs> and I was playing baseball, so I went. These guys love White Claw. Chuck, you like White Claw? Uh, Give them the White. Yeah, that's and then a tough I, one. I just watched them all buy drinks they didn't want to buy. It's a great move. Yeah, and you got me once with the tip. You're uh, like, yeah. oh, you better tip the guy big. He, you know how hot it is out here, and I'm like. I was like, tip, you got to tip more than that. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, that's it's a, a fun, move. fun, fun gag. Did, did you ever do this where you'd say uh, you'd have your friend in the car? And you're like, Ma, Mark wants Burger King. Can he? He doesn't want to say it. Can you oh. get him? Burger? That was a great move. I do that to the openers all the time. I go, he wanted ice cream. He's a, he's a dainty bitch, and then they bring ice cream and I eat it. It's a good move, fun move, but um, I, have yeah. the, I have the worst car friend thing of all time. Where I was like nine or ten. And we were driving past this bar, and it has like a huge like mermaid as the sign, and she's topless. Mm. But the mm. the bar like name is like a scroll that goes across her oh, nipples, yeah. and like I, you know I'm like nine and I elbow him. I'm like, hey, I'm like check out those boobs, and my mom's in the front and his mom's in the front, and he goes, yeah, yeah, hey mom, Chuck's talking about boobs oh, to my mom and geez. his. What a snitch! Worst guy wow, hey, I hope you threw him out of the car. I bet the mom's a little bit like this. Nice. Yeah. You know? Because you want your son to suck on boobs. Sure, yeah. yeah. Assume. You don't want to raise a little little fairy there. What do you got? <laughs> How about TK Carter? Does that sound like the right guy? I mean, I don't know. Carter sounds it right. Kind of looks like Carter. Omar Epps a little bit. Okay. Uh, you know well, what I mean? you know. He's a, he was on a Punky Brewster. Oh, that's oh, 80s. Yeah, that's he's him. the teacher. Yeah, yeah. That's yes, right. that's how I remember him. You conflate all the stuff because I was eight, yeah, folks. Right. I was eight. When you eight, you conflate. Let me, let me. Oh, let me see the uh, the photo if I, if I may. Yes, he was the oh, teacher. I remember yeah. that guy? Yeah. Yeah. He's around. He's in a lot of stuff. He was in a bunch of things. He was hot back then. Yes, yeah, TK Carter. TK. TK Carter. All right. Okay. What else was he in? Yeah, he was the cool teacher in Punky Brewster. How do you like that, Funky Rooster? Hmm, that he sounds was, like a good He was bar. in the he was in the thing. 
Uh, oh yes, the thing. Awesome. Yes. I love the thing. Me too. By the way, great hang last night. You missed a, the great great hang. You should move to Astoria. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, mm. Because we had a, we had the whole gang out there. Nighttime cigars. Me, Ronan, Steve Rogers, and Siobhan, and then Sarah joined. And everybody was like, I'll try one of these cigars. We had a whole thing go. It was like a Red Arbok hang. It was just a cloud of smoke. And we, oh, we just wow. trashed everybody. It was really fun. That's a good time. Now, uh, Siobhan, is uh, is he recovering from that horrific Hiroshima bomb he had at the live event? <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. I don't know he'll ever be the same. That was pretty bad. He, I mean, someone threw egg at him yesterday when yeah. we were walking to the park. I was drinking when I threw that. But I, I it's nice to see he's got a new dame. <laughs> Great dame. Sweet dame. Ah, Great dame. Him. And then he came by. We shot a little video, right? That sh- that should be out sometime yeah. in yeah. the next couple months. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we'll see that in 2024. <laughs> Trump will be president. Um, People are hearing this, and they're like, on the Patreon, like, you piece of shit. You're letting them down. I'm like, I'm like, do you think the bits on the show are, uh, like, are really great? You know what's funny is somebody sent one... <laughs> All the comments on a video that you had nothing to do with. It was like a video my friend Mark Brady shot, and actually you 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 cut it up like immediately within like ten minutes, and they're like, "What did it take Chuck nine months on this one?" Uh, it's pretty fun. It's a fun gag. Maybe they were just doing the bit too. That's the fun part. Yeah, yeah. I think they're just doing a no, bit. No, no, no. I, I'll pay no, you extra to get that video up because we got a big I hot know. Wednesday. No, they're not. They're like, you're a piece of shit. You're in over your head. Stop working for them. Like you don't deserve this spot. Like all the stuff like that. Well. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> what do you do? They can't all be wrong. <laughs> yeah. Some some knowledge in there. But yeah, yeah. Where the hell you did you hit the road this weekend? Where was I this I was home. I was home this weekend. Uh did my first spots in like two and a half weeks. I took a long time off. Hiatus. A uh, nice hiatus, and I was back at the cellar and stand, and uh it's hot. You forget. Saturday. When's the last time you did a Saturday 7.30 show at the Cellar? Oh, my God. It's been years. I mean, take a weekend off and put in, say, I'm available before 9, so you get the sweet spot. I was like prior on Sunset Strip in there. Yeah. I mean, I was like, I had a red suit on. I'm murdering. People were just like throwing cum at me like multiple MIGs. Yeah, saying the N-word. You got MS. <laughs> yeah, wow. You lit yourself on fire. I know. It is. It's been a while, but when I was, when you, we were a newer comic, that spot, that weekend at the cellar, you hung there all night, you drank there, you did your 18 sets in all the different rooms. White hot crowd, and it's date night. Like, everybody's dressed up. Yeah, there's, a, there's an energy on the weekends. McDougal Street's a buzz. It was something, and I did a seven and seven thirty VU and cellar, and it was still daylight. Oh, uh, when I yeah. left, it was nice. I went to the stand, did a couple there. Stand was fine, whatever. Folks, as you know, almost always Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Sheath Underwear. Woo! And lucky for you guys, you can see mine right now, just spraying out of my shorts. Sheath underwear. Look at that. Double sheath. Two sheaths in the wind. Hey. U.S. Army. I mean, it says personal endorsement here. What better personal endorsement can I tell you that I'm wearing them right now? Cool design. Sexy. They're so soft. They are my favorite underwear. I have other underwear in the drawer because uh, she doesn't send me enough. But mm. I got a couple pairs of bullshit that I hate. Mac Weldon. Remember the Mac Weldon oh, days? Oh, we hated them. They're so tight. My leg is just squeezing off and uh, my dick barely fits in there. Plus, my dick and balls are mushed together. You got but that right. not so with sheath underwear because U.S. Army soldier and Tuesday, Robert Patton, knew there had to be a better way to keep his dick from sticking to his leg and sheath was born. Comfy and cool. Sheath comes in so many patterns. You can have a pair ready for any occasion. I, By the way, I have a Skankfest pair. That are awesome. Oh, wow. I don't, they might be a collector's item because I've come in them a couple times. And they didn't leave the ladies out either. To comfort you guys, the comfort you guys know for your balls, Sheath has applied to boobs, even handicapped boobs, with their sports bra. Go to sheathunderwear.com and order with promo code TWOSGAYS with a G to get 20% off your first order and Sheath Underwear's 100% money back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com. Promo code twos gays. Get sheath underwear and let them support your balls. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you at on Dennis Miller? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know what to think about. I did, I got very upset when he tweeted about Michelle. Yeah, Wolf. I didn't like that either. But the old stuff was funny. Oh, he's great and such a huge influence on uh, the people that are influenced me. Right, right. Manscaped. <laughs> Manscaped would like to introduce you to their best and biggest hygiene bundle yet, the Platinum Package 4.0. Manscaped is already the leader in below-the-waist grooming. Now trust them with the whole shebang. 
I love Manscaped. I feel confident. I drop trow. Sure, I'm not that impressive size-wise, but I'm a manicured lawn. I put the man in manicure, baby. It's all cleaned up, good looking, ready to go. No nick, no cut, no nothing. Waterproof Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents with an LED spotlight so you can get a more precise shave. Come on. Use Manscaped's Weed Whacker ear and nose hair trimmer to keep all those holes nice and trim. The Platinum Package 4.0 also includes the best of Manscaped's Ultra Premium Collection so you'll smell fresh and clean from head to ball. Plus, the Shed travel bag holds all your stuff on the go the platinum package 4.0 covers all bases it's the best bang for your shebang get 20 percent off plus free shipping with the code tuesdays at manscape.com that's 20 percent off plus free shipping with the code tuesdays at manscape.com it's time to enjoy the finer things in life so get yourself a platinum package for your platinum package manscape Tuesdays with Stories also brought to you by Displate. Looking for something to cover up that hole in your wall? Displate is the cool new metal poster you'll want in every room. They have millions of cool designs available featuring gaming, movies, comics, and anime. We know how much you guys love anime. Displate also features officially licensed designs, including Star Wars, Netflix, and many more. They sent one to me. I didn't know what it was. I was like, who is this from? This must be from somebody that loves me. I'm not even kidding. I was like, who on earth sent this to me? Uh, was it Louie? Was it Chuck? Was it? Uh, I have no idea. Somebody with money sent me a cool gift. Turns out it was from Displate, and it's hanging ah. right above my wall. Well, above my bed, I mean. Not above the wall. That would be crazy. <laughs> on the wall, above my bed. It only takes 20 seconds to hang. Even I did it, and I'm a moron. No power tools needed, no damages, and no frustrations. The only power tool I have is under my wife's pillow, folks. Once you mount one, uh-oh. You can switch out a new plate in a flash with every one that you buy. Displate plants a tree. It's nice. You can you can have one over for one friend and then switch it out for a different friend. Yes. Click the link in our description to see some of our favorite displates and save up to twenty nine percent. Get twenty five percent off if you buy one or two, and up to twenty nine percent off when you get three or more. Discounts will automatically be applied to your cart when you click the link or use code Tuesdays when you visit displate.com. That's displate.com. Tuesdays code gee whiz, I need some food. Code Tuesdays or click the link in our show notes. I love this thing. Go look into some and get yourself one. It's a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I got a couple things that I, I, I must please, must please queef about here. Queef it all over my face. I got some notes here. What is it? Something. Hold on. I wrote down some things and I'm like, this is big. Oh, this is big. Well, this one Chuck's involved in. Uh oh. So the, the fans might hate it. But yeah, they're not gonna like this. So yesterday we go to the park. It's a whatever hang. And this one, this I gotta do some careful stepping here because you know, I don't want to hurt any feelings, upset sure, anybody. So sure. you might have to chime in with some zingers. I'll try. But we're in the park. It's about 150 degrees. So we get a nice spot in the shade right by the entrance of Sheep Meadow. Ah, uh, she yes. You're sheep all Meadow, sheep. the crown jewel of, of New York City, if you it's, ask me. It's the clit. It's the real clit. So we're sitting there, nice little group hang, and I'm throwing the uh, ball around. And a lot of people, I don't know what the right term is. I don't want to, I don't want it to be offensive. Okay. When we were kids, it was handicap. Cripple, I believe. Cripple was, uh, I think, around. I think that was before us, even. But uh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I think it might be differently able. Ah, is that right? It's yeah. a lot of. It just feels or, like if you uh, add syllables, you're okay. Differently able. There's also handy capable. Uh, was handy that capable. I think that might have been a joke. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I'm not oh. sure. Handy snack. What else is it? What is it now? Look up someone in real I think differently able is. is I think it might be differently able. Special that's... needs. Okay. Well, these were special needs folks, and they had the electric wheelchair. They were they were like little folks. <laughs> yeah, I've seen these. They were, they were little <laughs> little guys, but they're adults. Adults, they're mini. Yeah, but okay. they're not little people. They're not midgets. They're like persons with disabilities. Persons with so a That's bunch so of vague. A bunch of persons with disabilities show up, but they're not little people like Nick Navicki, a little person. Right. They're like they're Small. little and they need assistance yes. walking. A preemie. Maybe a preemie. Maybe a preemie. I don't know. Okay. 
So they're coming in, and, and there's a whole gang of them. It's like a biker oh, gang. There's like really? 17 of them. Oh, boy. And they're wheeling in, coming in, and whatever. You know, we're, it's happening. It's over there. They're over there, and we're over here. We're having a nice time. A couple of rascals. I throw the old ball around with old J.K. Jason Kenner. Oh, I come God. back to the group, and um, my wife, Sarah, says, you see the tits? And I, I perk up. You know me. I love tits more than I love, you know, Sports. I, sure. I, I love a set of tits. Yeah, who doesn't love tits? That's why we hired Chuck. So Yes. <laughs> Good to have you. They Don't say, lose those or else you're out of a job. They, she says, have you seen the tits? Now, I perk because I'm excited because I love a set of tits and there's women everywhere. So oh, immediately yeah. I start scanning. I'm trying to like hide that I'm like, you know how you're like, when your wife is like, wow, she's hot. You try to be like this, which one? But you're like, yeah. oh, my God, let me see this. You're like, I saw her an hour ago. I already knew. So I look around, and I'm looking over here, assuming it's not in the wheelchair department. Mm-hmm. I'm looking over here. She goes, no, no, it's over here in the uh, in the wheelies. Oh, boy. And I look, and ding dong, the, wow. the dildo is up. Big old set of handy, capable cans. Wait a minute. Handy cans. Cans. I mean, so this lady showed up and just... Wait, is she a little? She's little. I mean, she's the tits little. Are. Her legs, she has leg issue because she walked, but her legs were like very little and she kind of did like a, a waddly thing. <laughs> like a cowboy. Like a cowboy. She I had like see. cowboy Full legs, legged. underdeveloped legs, but fully developed titties. Wait, so she's off the, the, <laughs> the chair. She came off the chair. I didn't okay. see how she dismounted. I missed that. Right. I don't know if she just kind of ducked and fell forward. I don't Probably know what happened. Jumped and bounced off the tits. Maybe she slipped off. I don't know how. I don't know if someone dumped her. But. Yeah, yeah, maybe she leaned the chair over. She spilled right off. <laughs> but she was just sitting there having a talk, and there was about 20 of them, a whole group, and she's just shooting the shit like we are, but big wow. can. They were nice cans. Good for Chuck. her. I didn't really take a full look. I looked what? from the side. What are you kidding? Where's looked, the video? It, well, it's 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 a person in a wheelchair with their breasts out in Central Park. I wasn't going to take a pull. They were behind me. Joe Joe was facing them. I was facing. They were behind me. But you really, you really... Bailing, uh, busted me. I, you stepped me out to dry here. I looked from the side. I saw him from the side, and I got the banana shape. That's what I saw. Oh, banana. It was a little oh, bananas. Man. Slight banana, but there was a lot of uh, <laughs> circumference. Okay, okay. And they were also, they were off. They were like googly eyes. Like one was fully, <laughs> they looked like stage lights, and somebody bumped into it, so it pushed over here. Uh, they were yes. different directions. <laughs> yes, You yes. know what I mean? When you bump your head, and you're like, oh, shit. All right. right. We got to get the gaffer in here. <laughs> Well, the best boy. But, uh, <laughs> no it, grip, though. It was uh, pointed in each direction, but they were sizable cans. Wow. I mean, these were these might have been DC, DC, well, Benny. DC, good, uh, good comic book. But <laughs> it, it almost seems like the the Lord Himself was like, "I'm putting everything I got into the cans. The rest, that's you're on your own." Yeah, he skipped leg day. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really something, so I kept peeking over there, and uh, it felt a little bit like a tells joke. I don't want to yes. use the, uh, the, the R joke. word, Great but uh, those, those titties, titties ain't aren't. retarded. There you go. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> quoting. You didn't use the word. <laughs> but, but um, yeah, long COVID. Uh, maybe. It sounds like it. Long tits. <laughs> I wonder if she's uh, on the OnlyFans. Mm, could be. I mean, it is curious, right? She's already in a wheelchair. That's a weird decision. And she's obviously proud of them. She went out in the biker gang, hit the sunshine, and said, I'm one of you normies out here. I'm taking my shirt off like any other lady. Well, here's the thing. It's like she has some kind of, mu- maybe it's muscular dystrophy. It might be that. She's got some kind of muscular or skeletal problem. But her brain, she's obviously a normal person. Sure, sure. Who says, uh, hey, I- I'm a liberated lady. Free the nipple. Yeah. But it's, it's interesting because she was working the circle. She was walking around. And mm. I just wonder if the rest of the group was like, what's up with Nancy? She's got her tits out. What is she doing? Well, I think it's probably her thing. You know, right. these guys are like, I don't want to go to the park. It's a whole thing with the hay fever and the bugs and the sun. But then they're like, well, we get to see Nancy. <laughs> you know, so Nancy it's, it's, it's worth the trick. For the for the the knobs. Well, it was quite a sight and a nice pair of cans. And I'm grateful for any pair of cans that I get to see, even here, if it's here. in you know Schindler's List or whatever. It's nice to be like, hey, there's a set. It sucks for ladies because uh, I guess you get a, like a guy with a nice ab or a, an mm-hmm. arm. So you see that out on the beach, and a woman goes, hey, look at the look at the arms on Johnson. Yeah. But if a dick or a ball pops out, it's like appalling. 
It's they bad. call the police. They go to therapy. Mm-hmm. They go lesbian. But we have a tit, and it's a joyful moment. It was so joyful. It was fun. But yeah, not overly sexual. But uh, you know, it's a pair of tits. They were nice. Yeah. They were nice tits. And I'm more just interested in the personality of like, well, whatever. My tits are out. Well, out of the watch. It, yeah. Well, she's a uh, tittily challenged, but. Damn, I'm curious. I, I want to see him, especially on a small lady. I wonder if a boob looks bigger. Like on a tiny guy with a big horse dong, it looks even bigger. Good point. And like vice Vader. versa. Hmm? Huh? I said like Vader, and then you said vice versa, and I said Vader. Vice versa, oh, Vader. Oh, wow. It was three Vs at the same time. Yes, Vader Las Vegas. Check um, out his album. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was quite a sign. I mean, Chuck, that was that was something. I, I was... Uh, I was it's weird because I was like, is this kind of like a, I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I'm going to, I don't care. I don't care that I, I think so. here in a wheelchair. I'm happy with my, Good for yeah, her. she's my living breasts. her life. That's great. Yeah, I, I think love it's great. It. Yeah. Well, I, I think, think it's great too. I think uh, these folks in wheelchairs, I'm sure they have moments of like, fuck my life. I wish my life was like that. But I think for the most part, you, you accept your life. This is the life I'm living. And uh, they just, they go, they deal with it. Like yeah. if we've been living for 40 years, walking around with our legs, if we went to a wheelchair, we'd probably be like, oh, my God, remember what my life used to be like? But I think yeah. if you're born that way, you kind of... You're used to it. You accept. It's all you know. Michael J. Fox? What happened to him? Is he in a wheelchair? No, I think... I mean, he has Parkinson's, like, severely, but I yeah. think he's, like, very positive. Aha. Uh-huh. Well, they say uh, that psychologically, you go back to where your baseline is. Like, mm. if, if you lost your legs... You'd be fucked up for a couple months, but eventually you go back to a general disposition That's that you true. were had before. There's a documentary about this <laughs> where uh, they took like five people who won the lottery and five people who went paralyzed. And the paralyzed people at the end of the whole thing are happier than the lottery winners. Because yeah. you win the lottery and you hit you hit the roof, happiness wise. You think it's going to bring you joy, exactly. And then you plummet, and then you spend all the money. You go into debt. You're whatever. You have a speedboat that you never use. Now they're depressed. The wheelchair guy who got hit by a car who can't move is like, ah, no, life isn't worth living. And then three years go by, and he does the weird thing on the, uh, you know, what is that? Uh, what do you call Parallel that? Parallel bars. Thank you. Yeah. Paralyzed bars. And um, he he gets his shit together and he goes, hey, I'm actually lucky to be alive. He's happier. You got to put some gratitude in your attitude. But I, I wonder the numbers, if they're about, I bet they're about even for handy, capable folks mm-hmm. to, uh, you know, regulars. I, mean, I bet the percentage of depression are probably about the same. Probably about the same. Because half the people I know that are walking around with two legs are the, so depressed. Oh, they're a, a Debbie Downer for sure. Now, let me ask you this. Let me throw this one at you, fatty. Let's say tits weren't legal. Hmm. I think they are now. Since 1992, we looked it Get up. Get the hell out of yes, Dodge. Yes, we looked it up. It blew my mind. Wow, tits. Legal before weed. Yes, way before. Before yeah. gay marriage. Wow. Okay. Let's say they weren't legal, and you're a popo. You're the fuzz. You're a copper. Mm. Would you tell old Tiny to button up? Yeah, interesting. Well, I think we talked about this yesterday. I don't think anybody does anything anymore in New York City. What do you mean? Uh, there's no disciplining of any kind. Oh, yeah, there's uh, I shootings. I feel like uh, you got people just smoking crack on the side, like literally, and people like throwing shit at people, people drunk in public, people smoking cigarettes. I, I don't think there's any amount of like, hey, you can't do that. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. I would let it fly. First of all, I don't. It's a silly law. Is no it? tits. Well, what, what's to stop a dong? Well, a dong is different. A lot of people try to equate dong and tits, but True. I feel like uh, one is a genital and one is a, a bosom. Vagina ah. and dick equal. Okay, I hear you. Tits and pecs, folks say aren't equal. I don't think those are equal. Tits are worth more than pecs. That's true. Although pecs are harder to get. Tits, you just, they grow. Pecs, you, you gotta work on. It. Yeah, pecs, you gotta work. Well, you have pecs, but you gotta work on them to make them better. Yes, yes. Good. Tits, because some people have no tits. That's true, too, but they can buy them. Can, uh, can you buy a pec? You could probably put something in there. I'm Gregory sure they could Peck. do something. You could buy a trainer, I guess, but they're hard. But pecs are useful. You could pick stuff up. Well, tits can feed. Good point. I have a point. Yes. Mama. Tits, tits feed. That's more important than lifting, because lifting, you can get someone to lift. 
Yes, feed. or you Uber. Can't get someone to feed you. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, well, we're really breaking down the, the knob here. Yeah, it stopped being funny a couple minutes ago. Sorry, it's interesting. Shit. All right, all right. Well, my point is you, you, you're a copper, you see a, a, a little with the tit out, you let it slide. I'm letting it slide. Let it yeah. slide. I'm let the lady have her sunshine on. Get the sun on those gams. I think if they were like, hey, get this lady with the tits out, get this guy selling the cigarettes, I'd be like, well, I did see a crazy meth addict jumping on cars and I spinning know. at people. Maybe we should grab him. I had a horrible moment. My parents were in town two weeks ago, and I'm like, I'm taking it. They're, they're, we're walking around the city. I'm like, what should we do? My dad's like, well, let's stop in a nice place and have a drink. And I go, sure. We go to the Jane Hotel. Crack, guy smoking crack right on the steps. And I'd be like, oh, excuse me, sir. We yeah. had, like, you know, my 78 year old dad is walking next to the. It's just a bummer. It's scary, but uh, there should be more. There's less of things. There should be more tickets. Ticket? Well, what do you what's tick a, ticket? I mean, you give a crackhead a ticket, he's gonna smoke reefer with. Well, it. I'm saying not for the crackhead. I'm uh, saying for the uh, selling Lucy's, uh, having your tits out. Sure. You know, uh, a loiter. There you go. Here's your ticket. Get out yeah. of here. Move on. You son of an onion. Well, the the, the broken window theory. Mm, what's the broken window again? That's uh, that's Windows. where old uh, Giuliani, when people liked him, right? He had a theory of like, if you can, you got to start at the beginning. You know, we all we all wait till a city's in hock. It's going through hell. Mm. There's guys selling uh, anal on the corner and doing crack out of their dick hole. Then you crack down, but you got to crack down early. Uh, the early crack down. That's when he did the stop and frisk, and then uh, we get, we won't even let that. You see that broken window in the bad neighborhood? We won't even let that happen. Right. Might have to give that a go because I'm sure I explained that horribly. Well, whatever. whatever. Giuliani was the he was the boy. He was on top. Oh, Remember he was, he was on big. SNL there. Seinfeld, yeah, he was rolling. Yeah, and, and now my dad's on crack. I think the broken window is to also like if you clean up the spray paint, they'll try. They'll be nice because it looks nice. Yeah, I thought that was something. something Wasn't that, that something? Yeah, chicken of the egg. I can't remember, but uh, yeah, you really cleaned it up. He did for a minute. He was a, an Italian from Brooklyn. But boy, did he go cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Oh yeah, but his daughter's in porn. Is that right? That is well, correct, that's not sir. Not a sign of a great dad, but uh, <laughs> I don't discrim. All right, we got we got to focus. We got to lock oh, sorry, it up. Here. Sorry, sorry. We got to like lock some, it up. Oh my oh, god, it's geez. half over. Well, I got this is I like got, life. I just got back from. Um, yeah, I know it just flies <laughs> by. Just, uh, and a blink when, of an eye. I've been looking at uh, <laughs> Giuliani quotes for the last half hour. Yeah, so I've just got back from. Uh, Mormon country. Hmm. Salt Baltimore. Lake. Uh. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I got to tell you, it was just one of those great weekends. It was like no hitch. Will Smith movie. I mean, Ugh. just uh, flew out there. Flight was on time, which I'm now appreciative of. You know, I used to be like, yeah, I got on a flight. It took me there. It said the time. Now I'm here. But now I'm like, thank you, guys. I'm shaking the pilot's hand. You know, I'm kissing them. <laughs> and uh, hotel was great. Sean Murphy opened. He's a killer. Hey, Murph. And sh- sold out shows. Keith is the band. Great club. Great Love crowds. Keith. Fun weekend. Not a hitch. No hitch. I feel bad bringing Glitch. it up. No glitch. No glitch. Well, I, I had a similar weekend, except a homeless guy chased me and screamed at you. You might remember. Wait. In oh, Salt Lake City. Oh, in Salt Lake. But yeah, yeah, that guy, Keith, is first class. He oh. feels like a, you know, they have like comics comic. He's like a comics owner. Right. But I think a comic as well. He was a comic. Yeah, yeah. but so nice. Just a good guy and a great room. I hope to be back. And boy, that's fun. The only hitch, I guess, was, uh, and I don't want to downplay or shit talk or Queef or whatever you call it, but my merch guy, <laughs> I said, hey, how's that uh, merch looking? Because it wasn't there. And he ships it out to the club. And he was like, oh, I sent that a week ago. And I was like, oh, oh boy. boy, here we go. Turns out. <laughs> oh, long COVID. There's like nine of those clubs. It's like Ogden, oh, you know, right. uh, Port Chester, Rochester, whatever, Chesterfield cigarette. And it went to the wrong one. Oh, So they go, hey, this isn't for us. And so they just left it in the old UPS warehouse down in uh, Colorado. Oh. So we didn't get the merch. Um, but that was it. So then he goes, I'll, I'll hook you up in Houston, free merch. So he paid it back, but would have been nice to have some merch. Yeah, you could have liked that merch. Yeah, you want to get that merch. Sean that Murphy. Meal, don't you? He has a joke about condoms, so he sells condoms at the show. He's cleaning up. Really? It's a brilliant pitch because he has the bit already, and the bit kills, and people get their five bucks, so they want to get one. Jesus, you sound like Costanza. <laughs> well, they got a hold of me. I can't quit now. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but anyway. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I saw Murphy. We came, we came to the uh, Grove 34. We had a hell of a hang. Oh, uh, he's a fan. Nice hang. I've never seen you two in the same place, so I don't know if I buy it. It's a similar look. I tried to. Well, that hurts. But uh, I tried to. <laughs> I tried to. Said. I tried to put him on the show, and he did this thing. He goes, ah, I don't want to fuck up the lineup. So I said, All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish he had gone on. I tried to put him on the show. He's good. Guy. I know he's good. I know the guy. I've seen the guy. I've gone after him, and I go, I'm a different guy, and the crowd laughs. Uh, I wonder and, what uh, that was about. I wonder why he didn't go on. What are you not going on for, Murph? I don't know. He said, well, the lineup's set, and I said, all right. Huh. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to go, please. Come on. We need you. You know, there's some guys out there in comedy who are just like gung-ho, and they're they're obsessed, and they won't. They're, they're too aggressive. Like, hey, what do yes. you got? Are you doing your bar mitzvah? I let me ask. Let me oh, do it. Let me it do it. <laughs> While you're cutting the kid's foreskin, let me do a set. And you go, all right, easy, Chachi. Mm-hmm. He's the opposite. I see. He's the other uh, spectrum or whatever. Yeah, this is my advice to young comics. Don't reach out asking to get on shows, because that's annoying. Mm. But if someone goes, you want to go on? You say, yes. 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 And he's not even a young comic. He's no. 58 years old. He's been doing comedy for 37 years. Oh, yeah. He'll be dead soon. But uh, <laughs> we had this guy, Trey, doing the filming stuff. And this, Trey. this kid was too cute. He was like obsessed with comedy. He was asking a million questions and then <laughs> really cared about comedy. God damn it. I'm turning an uh, Ebenezer Scrooge out here. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> I'll see. Long Cove. I got it. There it was. A little, little jizz in the back from have the cookies. A, have a cough drop. Or a cookie. Oh, the cough drop. Yeah, it's probably they, these dry ass dry. cookies that are doing it. I'm like Moses in here. I'm walking the desert. All that dry air. But uh, yeah, so. This kid is just filming, doing a great job, super cool, writing jokes backstage. And uh, and uh, on the last show, I go, you want to do a guest set? And he goes, I'd love to. But he never asks. I like and that. And that's why I gave it to him, because he didn't ask. And then he did it, had a good set. So yeah. Trey Lamb, check him out. By the way, Lamb E. He's on the Lamb, Lamb See. Chop. Um, well, I, you know what? I didn't get a chance to talk too much about the baseball trip uh, last time. The BBT. I played professional baseball for God's Whoa, sakes. Whoa, MLB, BLM, very Contract. different. Yes. Hey there, folks. Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Better Help. All right, you have to take care of your mind first and foremost. It's all you have. It's how you perceive everything is through your own mind. So take care of it. We spend so much time taking care of our skin, our hair, and our teeth, and so little care of the important body part, the brain. Love the brain. How well you take care of your brain affects how you experience life. Investing time and energy in mental health is crucial to be happy. Eating right, working out, and getting plenty of sleep are a good start, but there is no substitute for talk therapy. I completely agree. I'm reading this, but I also agree. BetterHelp makes online therapy accessible, convenient, and affordable. Therapy is so important because you really you, you talk it out. You get some expert advice. Your friends are morons. They're not going to help you at all. They just say... Some nonsense. It doesn't make any sense. Get a licensed professional, and you can do that by using BetterHelp. It's online therapy that offers video, phone, and chat therapy sessions. You can choose to not see anyone on camera if you'd like. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. You can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Tuesday's listeners right now can get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Tuesdays. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L. P. dot com slash Tuesdays. Here, here. Tuesdays is brought to you by Fume. Fume is the safe way to quit smoking. Fume's one hundred percent Canadian maple inhaler replaces the hand to mouth habit. Simply insert one of their non addictive flavors, cores and breath. Fume is the natural inhaler designed for a better, safer, and natural way to quit the cigs. Fume cores come in dozens of flavors like peppermint. And lemon berry bliss. I love this fume. We go. We got sent one. It just feels good. It's nice to just hit that oral fixation. You know, put something in your mouth, suck on something. I like it. And the peppermint is really good. That's my favorite flavor. And it, hey, why not get a little fresh breath while you're doing it? There's no harmful chemicals, no artificial flavors, and absolutely no nicotine. Even if you're not trying to quit smoking, fumes core can help with relaxation, energy, and more. Whether you're a smoker or an ex-smoker still struggling with cravings, Fume is the perfect tool for you. Head to breathefume.com slash Tuesdays. Use promo code Tuesdays to save 10% off your entire order. That's 10% off your entire order 
entire order when you use breathe b r e a t h e f u m dot com slash Tuesdays promo code Tuesdays. Get on it. Hold on, I got something coming. Uh, uh. <laughs> fun to swish, isn't it? Fun to swish. I love a swish, and it's good for the teeth. No kidding. It's fluoride in there. In the water? Tap water. They put fluoride in it. Ah. Just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's just good for your teeth. So they go, ah, throw it in. Look that up. Chuck looks upset. I don't know what's going on with uh, Chuck. He I feel like he doesn't care for you us. You guys are just so. making a lot of sound effects. I for don't know what's I going like on. The- what? Wow. <laughs> you mentioned Michael Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> what's his name a, again? JT a- Perry? What is that? For who, for TK a- Carter. TK Carter. Carter yeah. We should get him on the show. I bet he'd do it. Paint his eyelids. <laughs> I think he and, needs work. Wait, what if he just sat here with the eyelids painted the whole show? Oh, that would be fun. We didn't, we didn't even mention him. We didn't even bring it up. We just kept doing our bullshit. It was just like this with a big... <laughs> yeah, we're just queefing and quaffing and lunch and fatty, and he didn't even suddenly say a word. Every once in a while we ask him about the set of Police Academy. Uh, <laughs> He's just living. Hey, TK is not laughing. <laughs> How amazing was that Police Academy set? It's so funny, those 80s uh, comedies, because they would just be like... Okay, Michael J. Fox, you're the uh, sound effect. We'll get, j- we'll just write in a scene where you he where he walks downstairs like chasing a bad guy, and there's an open mic, and he goes, "All right, I'll sign up." Or he walks on stage, and the the, uh, the spotlight hits him, and he's like, "Okay," and he just goes into a full set. You know, it's such '80s horseshit, but it was as a kid. When he did Jimi Hendrix, I mean, come on! That was gold. It was all gold. The beeps, the sweeps, the beeps. The machine gun. <laughs> oh, it was great. Yeah, he was fun. He wasn't in Ski Patrol, it turns out, but no, uh, no, he was different, great in this other stuff. Different guy. Well, what can you do? Yes. Different black. Keep so, going. But anyways, I was out there in uh, Montana, which is a hell Ooh, of a state. Oh, Whitefish. Show Montana. Yes. Whitefish, home of the uh, Glacier Range Riders. Mm-hmm. That's the newest team in the Pioneer Baseball League. By the way, Wednesday nights, check out PBL Roundup with me and Tom Brenneman and Bill Vasey. PBL. Fun show. All right. So uh, I go out there. They go and have me embedded with the uh, team, like a like a like a war journalist. And wow. uh, you know, this is a big dream. I got to sign a contract. I went to the office, and there should be a video coming soon. I, this guy, uh, the guy that produces our show, is worse than Chuck. He makes Chuck look like fucking Bob Woodward or something. Oh wow, Woodward. Yeah, and Bernstein. I went with someone with a deadline. I liked it. That yeah, wasn't bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, this is wild. Uh, pro ball. It's uh, DiMaggio, Mantle, List. List, baby. So I went out there and signed the old contract. I met my skipper. I love saying skipper. It's Wait fun. Wait a minute. Who's skipper? Skipper's the manager. That's what you call the manager in baseball. Right? Yeah, hey, skip. Hey, skipper. I've heard skip. I didn't know it was skipper. I love that. He's the skipper. And Can we uh, call him skip, or is that is he not a captain? He's not managing this team. Are you uh, crazy? That's a, for a Are manager. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm begging you to do bonuses, please. I'm here. I'm at the studio. Hey, he's got a, he's got a yeah, point there. All right, all right, Skip. You can be the all Skipper. All right, skip, skip, yeah. yeah, the Skipper. What do you... Uh, skip to my Lou. <laughs> this means edit that video a little quicker, if you don't mind. <laughs> this means uh, less dry cookie over here. All right, you got that, Jen? <laughs> yeah, and a little salt in the top wouldn't kill you. Ooh, <laughs> it accentuates the sweet. Yes, sweet and salty. Jesus. Like my cum. <laughs> Have we done an episode where water didn't land somewhere? <laughs> water! All right, continue with the baseball. <laughs> She's foaming at the mouth. <laughs> Is this a good app? I can't even tell. I'm loving it. I but think I'm jacked up from the dry. Jacked up, cracked up, and crazy. So I go out there. I sign the contract. I got a skipper. Michael's his name. I, I couldn't remember his name. I kept calling him Skipper. Big Mike. Then there Skippy. Was, we had two, two coaches because it's a small club here. It's a small mm. league. And it was Jeff and Wit. Uh-huh. And I can't remember who's who, but one of them, I think it was, I think it was Wit. Okay, he's Walt like Whitman. ripped. He's like, uh, he's like, uh, he's got to be in his like late forty. The best body I've ever seen in my life, and he's got that baseball stank on him. Yeah, like, he's like serious, but he's fun and funny and sweet. And dip, no dip. Ah, I love a dip on a man. Well, I think the people are learning now. It's like you know, you got to be careful, Cancer. Or whatever. Cancer, yeah. So uh, <clears throat> I go out there, I meet the coaches, and I relate to them more because they're older, you mm. know? The players are like 11 years old. These are young whippersnappers. Right. I'm, I'm 40. They had 22, 23 college kids. Met some cool guys. My The, the guy next to me, Dan Swain. Jeez, fun names out here. Good Swain, name. Wit, Skip. 
He's got the cool glasses, and he's like a oh, bullpen guy. Oh, yeah. I hung out with the bullpen guys. That's the cool. You got to meet a baseball team. You go out with the bullpen fellas. Okay, the BPFs. Because they're out there. They're crazy. And there was another guy from Queens named Johnny. Oh, perfect. Italian queef. He looked like Chris D. He had the same swoopy, oh, shaved it. hair. Hey, Johnny, okay, babe. He's uh-huh. from Queens. Go Mets. And uh, it was exciting. And they got PB&Js there. That's a minor league staple. They're Is all in right? Peterborough. Because they make 1200 bucks a month. What? 1200 a month. They live with like uh, host families, these guys. No. I'm telling you. It's like volunteer, volunteer firemen out here. It's a tough life. And you know when professional baseball players, sometimes they get hurt. They go and they have like a, a rehab assignment in the ah. minors. So you have like like Jordan. You have like a star yes. in the minor league. And it's customary to buy everyone a meal. You buy dinner. Oh, because you're the hot shit. Well, you make $10 million a year, and they ah. make 40 bucks a day. You take them out to Pizza Hut. So I thought I should be the guy. I should buy everybody some uh, nice meal. Now we're thinking. But I'm not uh, I'm not Barry Bonds over here. Well, compared to these uh, schlubs, you, you, you're making a penny, especially in Whitefish. I can't imagine the prices are too high. Well, comparatively, but then you get 25 guys. Uh, 25 yeah. times 25 is... Eight million dollars or something. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, that's tough. Six thousand. It's kind of like when you go to the bar and you go, "Fuck it, I got the next round of shots. Shots for everybody." And you're like, "One, two, three. That's eight fucking people. These shots are nine dollars each. I'm <laughs> fucked." Yeah. So the Lee, I told the Lee, he said, "We'll set him up with some food." And I said, "Hey, great, nice, Thank God." So, anyways, I go in there and I'm a little nervous because they came off an 18 hour road trip. They're driving my bus. Mm, these poor guys, they really love the game, huh? Well, normally they have that on an off day, but the league fucked them. So they took like a 16 hour bus ride through the night to the ballpark. Ah. So it was bad timing because I'm like, hey, I'm the comedian fun guy. That was the biggest fart construction. ever. <laughs> oh, the construction. That's like, that's not like Ferris Bueller's. Key. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, that's wild. This is that's not, I think this is 9 11. <laughs> that's so good. But uh, I think it was worse than that. I don't know. I just think it was made up. Giuliani. I'll agree. So, uh, no Jews in the building. Any tits. <laughs> any shit. What, what the hell was I even saying? I didn't he, buy in the meals. The I get there. Oh, so they rode. Ride. They hated me. So they showed up. They're all they're all tired and anxious. And I'm like, hey, I'm the new guy. I think it's going to be fun. Ah. They're like, fuck you. Get out of here. So I had to really ingratiate. And the whole time, I'm like, I think they hate me. Should have bought the meal. I know, the meal. You thought someone hated you? No. Get the hell out of town. Well, they all know each other, the whole thing. <laughs> That's true. You're the outside uh, nerd from... From Queens. I'm the outside asshole. So I'm going to go shag some fly balls, take BP. It's very exciting. It's quite a thrill. And Michael, my boss, who's the president of the league, his name is on the ball. He says, when's the last time you shagged fly balls during live batting practice? And I said, ah, I'm going to say 23 years ago. And he said, well, I'm just going to warn you. The ball is, is deeper than you think, and it's hit harder than you think. And I said, all right, you son of a bitch. I played baseball for 20 years. I think I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Went out there, and every single ball, I thought I was camped under it and sailed wow. right out of my head. I didn't catch a single ball. I wanted to kill myself. Oh, my God. And I was a player. I'm a baseball guy. This I had some. I fielded some nice grounders. Very emasculating. But, I mean, I would be right there and just, I got to hold off? It's crazy. I'll talk right through it. <laughs> I might. Yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> we just get right through it. <laughs> what, what am I supposed to do? What, are we going to sit here all day? There you, there, go. We go. So anyways, there you go. We're I back. I mean, these balls, and and then we're in. We're there in, you go. We're in uh, in the mountains, so the ball carries extra. Uh, what? And the players are saying that they're like the ball carries. It's not you, and I'm like, thank you. They were nice. They took pity on me. Chuck is making a face. Is this horrible? Are we gonna be able to listen? This is gonna be bad news. People are, n- are not gonna like this. Oh, All right, well, fuck. Hulk, we'll give maybe, it. Maybe we'll give it like a minute. All right, we'll give it a min. I got so many questions about this. Balls. So you're going to edit this? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making timestamps right now oh. to cut it out, you know. All right, so anyway, the ball would go, go flying go, go. over my head. Yep, yep. And, Fly it uh, over. Uh-huh. Montana. <laughs> then it's BP time, batting practice. So BP. now I'm like, I got a really impress. By the way, the thing that's crazy about these baseball guys, they're so blasé about the ball because mm. they're doing this all day. So when you're, they're doing batting practice, the guy throwing batting practice doesn't give a shit about anyone in the outfield. Okay. He's just focused on the hitter. So he's just throwing the ball over and over again. So the ball is just flying all over the fucking uh-huh. field. So every time you hear, if you don't... This is no joke, this construction. 
Oh, this is horrible. Yeah. Maybe we can get some uh, like a discount on the on the rent. Yeah. Although they're gonna be like, well, it's You're not a recording studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is an office, asshole. So every time they hit the ball, you just hear. And if you don't see the ball off the bat, you're yeah. fucked. Oh. So now you know there's just a ball flying out there, and this is how they tell you there's a ball coming at you. The guy, this is bad. It's is it bad? It's even louder. It's even louder now. Oh, I Jesus. feel like they're right under my feet. I can feel the vibration. Yeah, me I too. Know. Me too. I feel like my wife when I'm a gun. Fifteen minutes later. Maybe they're trying to get rid of us. Five minutes later. Okay, oh, the machine good. broke. So the ball, <laughs> this is how they tell you there's a ball coming at you. Fuck! Thousands of tears later. Go! So this is how he tells me. So you just hear, and, and if you're going to catch the ball, by the time you get the ball, he's already thrown another pitch to the BP guy. Uh-huh. So then a guy just says to me, a casual ball player, walks by, he goes, ball on you. And I go, huh? And then you just hear, and the oh, ball goes flying. It missed me by two feet. Like missiles. But he wasn't like this. Get down. Right. Holy shit. He just goes, hey, there's a ball on you. And uh-huh. I go, wow, Jesus, fuck. That is blase. It's wild. So then it's time for my batting practice group. They're like, you're in group four. So I go, all right. So now I'm like, I, I, I fucked up in the field. I probably had some good ground or some good throws, but I missed a couple fly balls because they're sailing over my fucking head. Sure. Because, you know, it's in the air and they're, they're crushing these balls. So I go, now I got to put on, I got to show them who's ball. I got to put on a little magic show you here. You better pick it up. So I run in there and I'm all excited. Now nobody will let me use their bat because mm. it's the most superstitious game. Oh, so everybody's the gay kid touching the bat. Well, it's also like in big league, they just got a bat machine just putting out bat. They got like 11 bats for the 25 guys. I here. See. This is This is like, this is small potatoes. They probably have a name. Hey, I got Lucy tonight. Exactly. And they don't want to hex. They're like, don't let this 40 year old asshole amateur comedian piece of shit touch my bat. Sure, sure. I get it. Professional comedian, amateur baseball player, whatever. But I signed a contract. Oh. So everyone's going, hey, not my bad. Hey. And they're trying to be nice. They're like, it's not my president. That kind of shit. <laughs> and I'm like, just give me a bat. And they're like, you're up, List. And I'm uh-huh. like, I don't have a bat. Everybody hates me. The whole team hates me. Uh-huh. So finally, the big slugger guy, Jason Newsom. You Ooh. gotta see this guy. He closes. He's like a reliever. He closes, but he hits home runs. He hits bombs. Okay. Big guy. Closing he, is good. Closing is good. He's like, he comes in at the end of the game and shoo, he just really knocks I him see. out. He's the he's the wolf. He hits and pitches. Yes, Ooh. he's a wolf and a tiger and a, and a bear. I see. And so he oh goes. My. He goes. Uh, here's the. Uh, this one has a chip in it, but you can like a computer chip. Ah, uh, the vaccine. <laughs> so he goes. This one has a chip in it. You can use this one. So I run up there. I'm all excited and uh, and and Whit or Jeff. I can't remember who's who. Fuck. Mm, so skip. sorry. Rain. Not Skip. Skip's behind me. Okay. And I go, all right, I'm ready to hit. And and the the the, the coach, who's a funny guy, he's a real whippersnapper, he takes the first one, and I'm in there. I'm going to really show him who's boss. And he just whips it behind me as a mm. gag. Ah. So I'm like, God, oh, jeez. <laughs> And I'm like, fuck, they're aye, fucking aye. with me. I got a chipped bat. Nobody likes me. Yeah. The first BP pitch, I swing and miss. Oh. I want to kill myself. This the whole is team is watching. Oh, and I've been talking Lord. shit. I'm like, I'm going to get a hit. Fuck you guys. Oh. So I had to have a moment. He threw the first one behind me. I haven't caught a fly ball since I was 11. So I had to take a deep <sighs> breath in. The next one right down the middle. Grounded it to the All left right, side. I got a ground. piece, but I'm like, okay, I got it. I said, that's through, even though it wasn't. Then I started hitting a couple okay. nice spots, started spraying them around. Then uh, Skipper behind me, he goes, now how about lowering those hands and driving a couple? And I said, you got it, Skip. Then I started rifling okay. some. Now I'm feeling good. The guys are going, all right. Uh. Then he goes, how about let's see some opposite field? And on the next pitch, I lined one right down the right field Ooh. line for a double right on the line. A real Sig Heil. It's on video somewhere. And uh, we had a camera guy, Wes, out there. At, like short, I lined one right over his head, hoping to get that video sometime in Just- the next fucking 50 years. We got to get these clips. And then I, to- I pulled a boss move. I said, hold on a second there, coach. I moved to the left side of the plate, started hitting lefty. Started Come whacking on. some of those around. Show them who's real boss. How many 40-year-old switch hitters do you know outside of the village? A little, <laughs> a little southpaw, huh? Yeah, exactly. So I started slapping those around, went back to the right side, and finally I feel like I ingratiated a little bit with yes. some of my base hits. You made it up, thank God, because, you, you know, you, you're giving us a bad name here on Tuesdays. So I kicked some ass over there, and then they went, okay, this guy's something. Then I went out to the bullpen, and they, these guys are the kooks, the bullpen guys. Uh-huh. 
And they got a little ceremony they did before. They have these wooden swords, and they get together and say some shit. And I went, they're like, you lead the uh, pregame whatever. Say whatever you want. And I went full blue out there. I feel like oh, I could really good. win them over. Yes, yes. They so like I blue. Went, I went AIDS, fuck, shit, ass, anal, and uh, really gave it to them. And I feel like that... That felt nice. I felt like we were we were buds after that. I really well gave him a little twos, taste of the twos gays. Yeah, a little chin music. So then, then the game starts. I'm in the dugout now, and I'm chirping. I'm all uh, over the umpire. I go, hey, Blue, you better check your eyes, you son of an onion. Yeah, you got the confidence back. That was fun. <laughs> and then uh, Wit or Jeff, one of them comes over, Skip. hands me a helmet, and says, hey, first base coach, get out there. Ooh. I go, what are you kidding? He goes, I'm not kidding. Get the fuck out there. So I coach first base. Wow. The most important base. Yes. So exciting. Yes. Kissing the lips. So then we had two triples while I was at first base. I go, 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 go. It was so fun. So exciting. I was thrilled. Did you do one of these? I did one of those, but he dove into second. A guy hit a double, and I went like this. And then the umpire called him out, which is a bad call. And then the guy's name is Brandon Riley. He goes, you got to get tossed on that. I was safe by a mile. And I said, next time I'll go out there and get tossed. You're going to do the, key, the the feet dirt kick? I'd love to do the, the hat turnaround, yes. dirt kick, Earl oh, Weaver. I love it. But uh, the first base coach, not typically the guy that gets tossed. That's ah. the skipper's job. But it was really fun chirping and yelling. And then I would look up in the crowd for some ladies and I was dancing. It was really a great time. Oh, this is amazing. I love, I know that feeling of fucking up in a game and then you have to redeem. I got to redeem and boy, it was a dream come true to have the uniform and the dumb hat and uh, coaching first. And I wanted to get in that bat, but it was a very close game. Ah, uh, what about a cup? I had the cup. I got the cup. I was knocking that thing all day. Oh, and... I love a knock cup. And let me smell that later. That was pretty fun. I had the cup and the pants and the cleats and uh, boy, what a thrill. And then I went in the locker room after the game and I didn't want to get totally naked in front of these young men with huge cocks. So yeah. I left my cup on, put my jeans on, jeans with the cup. That's a bad look. No good. Also, then there was this. Two girls, one cup. They won the game, so you do a little, we won the game handshake. I did a fun fake pratfall over the top of the dugout, <laughs> which was really fun. That's a classic. It was so good, because everyone hops over the dugout, and I went, God, ah! I uh, fell, and that's on video. Someday we'll see it. Are they still doing the grab ass out there? Is there a lot of oh, padding? Yeah. Oh, oh, I touched everyone's ass. Oh, good. Are you kidding? Okay. I fingered one guy's ass. Please. I hope so. It gets it playing better. So then what do you make of this moment? So All we're, right. we're in the handshake line. I'm going, good game, good game, great win, nice pitching. Somebody fuck my wife. Who wants to fuck my wife? And there's one Latino player on the team. Oh, uh, there's always one. And he turned, he gave me this look. Like that. Like, I'm interested. Like oh. that. And then the guy behind me goes... He'll seriously fuck your wife. Oh. And I was like, oh, jeez. I think I got myself in trouble yeah, with, no. uh, you know, Salvador <laughs> Perez or whatever. Don't fuck with Pedro. Yeah. He, he gave me that, like, like the sunglasses, like, you serious? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I had to be like, oh, God. He thought you were a cuck. Yeah. So uh, that was awkward. And he fucked my wife. I wanted yeah, to do well, well, good for her, at least. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Like she, a, she like finally came. Um, and then a couple days later, we, next game I went, sat in the suite. I got the whole experience in the dugout, then in the owner's box. Wow. And then we went back. So that this this is all in Whitefish. Then the, I played for the Missoula, Missoula Paddleheads. Big fan. Paddleheads. Reigning champs, by the way. Okay. So then we went to Missoula Friday night, went to the game, got box seats right next to the dugout, and I thought all the guys hated me, but when they came up to bat, they all gave me the fist pat. They were like, hey, what's up, man? You're got part of the fist team. Bump. Camaraderie. And there was one pitcher. He was like, he was a hot guy. He pitched a nice inning, and he came off, and I, I go, he pointed at me. He goes, hey, what's up? And I went, hottest guy on the team. And he stopped and went, I appreciate that. <laughs> and he was the hottest guy. So get out there and go see the Missoula Paddleheads. Best team in the league. They're going to win it again. And this is my question. If they win it again, do I get a ring? Ooh. I signed the a contract. Ring. I was on the team. Maybe. Yeah. You should at least be the mascot of the, the equipment kid. I mean, I, it's pretty good. I coached first base. We won. I should be getting a little <laughs> little bling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I wonder if they like this with these newcomers coming in like, hey, we just got off a bus. We're trying to practice. We got some special needs make-a-wish coming out there. We got to be nice to him. Well, they're so superstitious, and they won. Ah. So I think that might help. And, Good uh, point. You know, I had quite a BP sesh. You really should have seen it out there. I was really something. So I, I got to give a big plug to the Pioneer Baseball League. I mean, I just re-fell in love with, with baseball in this league. I went to a bunch of games. The ballpark in Whitefish, and they're all over. They're in Boise, Colorado, some other place, Wyoming. 
It really is a beautiful game. I mean, I know I sound cheesy, but it's like uh, tradition, and there's so much going on, and the diamond, and the open air, and the the grass. It's really something nice, you know. The the players with the uniform, and the, all the all the little quirks, you know, the spitting, the the ball shit, the superstitious stuff. It's great. The butt pat. Nothing better. I love it, and uh, I love my skipper and, and and Jeff and Wit. I love those guys and uh, all the, the whole gang. You know what else is great about moments like that? And then I'll shut the fuck up. But it's you're a comedian. That's right. You're a fun loving chintzy, you know, knock around kook goofball. Knock around koof. Yes. Yeah, so th- these guys, you go in, and I'm not saying these aren't fun loving guys either most most baseball players like to have a good time if you know what i mean daryl strawberry but you get to come in and you can really feel like oh i am a funny guy i am a comedian around non-comedians you can really yuck it up make them laugh think of shit they didn't think of and they, it, it brings a levity and a light to a, a situation oh it was great fun but it's hard because you gotta ingratiate you're the new guys you can't be full self that's so true. i was trying i was like hey nice cock and they were like what yeah, yeah. It's, you you got to ease. It's like anal. It takes a minute. You got to ease. You got to anal. And so uh, next time I see him, I'm going to try to ease into anal with all of them. I don't blame you. Watch that catch him. I'm afraid of that guy. <laughs> well, he's he a really, he really gave me the look. I think he wanted to fuck my wife. Please. Oh, oh, oh the Latino. Yeah. Yeah. He scared me. Wow, spicy pepper. He was cute, too. Uh oh. But well, uh, hopefully Sarah had a good time. But yeah. either way, go Paddleheads. Yes, Paddleheads, Missoula. And I'll be back. The GM was like, come back anytime. So I'm like, I might move out here and just join the squad. Hell yeah. That guy's going to paddle your wife's ass. But uh, how are we looking here? Okay. Well, the construction seemed to have stopped. I guess they fixed the leak. Yeah. Sorry about the construction. Chuck's going to do his best to squinch and cut and scrape. And thanks to Jen for the uh, the drywall. Yeah. <laughs> Nice try. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Chuck looks no, upset. I've Jen, you're the best. We appre- I'm going to eat each and every one of them. I'm going to pick the nuts out individually and put some salt on them and then maybe pour some water on them to moisten them up. But then I'll enjoy them. We appreciate the effort. You tried your hardest. Yes, and, you uh, seem like a nice lady. Send us photos of you guys fucking. All right. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, hey, you got them. Do you have any without you in it? Okay. Wow. Oh, all, right. Right. all right. Well, we gotta Jesus. go, folks. Chuck. We got some shit to look at <laughs> here. God. But um, um, all right, I got a big yeah. Where are you gonna be there, Sloppy Apple Jalopy? Pie. August, uh, Des Moines, Iowa. Please come to that because the flights are nine hundred and fifty dollars, and I'm bringing oh, Steve yeah. Big Dick Rogers, and his flights are even more because his dick is so heavy. But um, I'm there August fifth and sixth. I think it is. Let me take a look at my asshole. There you go. August fifth and sixth, Des Moines, Funny Bone. August twelfth and thirteenth is Nashville Zanies. Get some tickets to that. I think some of them are sold out already. Uh oh. Nashville. Zanies. August 14th, we're at Side Splitters, but you can't get tickets. If you don't have tickets, you can't get them. Wow. Three shows all sold out. Might and have then, a show. And then not, we already have three. We can't. It's three o'clock is the first show. Yikes. We could do a midnight, I guess, but Ooh. I figured everyone will be fucking out of their minds by then. August 19th and 20th, Liberty Funny Bone in Cincinnati area, or I guess it's in Liberty. But So that's a big month, and then, um, yeah, those are the big ones. And then we're doing a live Tuesdays yes. with stories. August yes. 9th, is that what it is? Good call. Yes. August 9th in Royersford, yes. back at Soul Joel's, old school. we got to figure out some guests for that. That's soon. Yeah. Get tickets for that. we got to sell that out, or else I'm going to kill myself. August 9th. And um, keep an eye out for 4th of July. Maybe it's at a screen near you. I don't know what the future holds for it, but it will be streaming soon. And you got to buy yourself a copy of that fucking thing, for God's sakes. And we're going to do a bunch of, uh, what do you call it? Merch? No. Um, VIP? Bonuses. Ah. Bonus materials. Commentary. Uh, deleted scenes. Ooh. Louis J. Gomez. All that stuff. That's all going to be available, too. So keep your eyes out for that. And come see me live, for the love of Christ. Yes, camaraderie. All right, uh, Lexington, Off-Broadway, Comedy Off-Broadway, Fun Club in Kentucky, San Antonio, LOL. This weekend I'm at the Houston Improv. Let's uh, let's sell that puppy out. Then West Palm Beach Improv, uh, going back to Fully Loaded with Bert and Brandon, Mississippi. Ah. Sorry, Richmond Funny Bone, I'll put a good word in. Brea Improv. Uh, Orlando Improv, I think, San Jose Improv, the Providence Comedy Connection, uh, 
The Neptune in Seattle. There's a Toronto, a New Haven. That's not selling well. A Vancouver, a Portland, the Wilbur, and New Orleans and Philly at the Fillmore. So, yeah, come on by. MarkNormanComedy.com. Check out our specials. Queef it up. I noticed you hit 1.1 million, which is a good sign that it's still going. Yeah, it's ticking. Time keeps on ticking. And uh, get on what the Patreon? Patreon. Get on the goddamn the Patreon, Patreon. Chuck. Just or talk a little bit about the Patreon, Chuck. Uh, hockey sets the documentary series starring Mark and Joe, following them around the country. Yes, it's out. Season one is out. There's ten episodes. Woo! It's over five hours of documentaries, just following Mark and Joe to shows. Q Some of anal. them together. Some of them just Mark. Some of them just Joe. Mm -hmm. Louie makes an appearance. T.J. Miller makes an appearance. A ton of people. Giannis Papas. A ton of oh, people. Oh yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. So much. Stavros. Um, we got, yeah. Stavros. Stavros is, uh, we got Q and Anals. We're up to episode six, I think, coming this Thursday on the yeah. Patreon. A ton of Qs. We got the Musqueef TV and a, and a ton of huge backlog of mm. just podcasts over the years. Past many years of Mark and Joe podcasting. You backlog right. and butt log. <laughs> yeah. There we yeah. go. All right. Captain's That's it. Log. All right, Skip. Thank you. Skip out.